uh, pant features, there's cargo pockets, there's uh, different things for dur durability. These got leather on the side on the inseam so that you, um, so you don't rip them. There's adjustability on the bottom so you can choose how baggy you want it down there. Uh, insulation is also a big thing. I'd say don't use it and just wear whatever you want to wear based on how cold it is outside underneath your outerwear. But you can get pants and a jacket with insulation, uh, different amounts as well. But uh, puffy jackets, you can get those too. I'd say those are too warm. They're only used for like really, really cold days. But if you're hiking a jump or something like that, you're gonna get really, really hot and it's just gonna be, a, you're just gonna be all wet and messy. Um, I'd say get a hood, those help a lot. If you do not have a hood, you will be sorry when it's really dumping out. As far as pants again, you can also get totally waterproof butts, which means they have like rubber on the inside so water will not get in. Um, Another thing you want to look for if you're looking for waterproof outerwear is the seams, which is where the different parts of your jacket come together when it's made. They are taped together at the factory. There's different ways to do it. Um, it will say on the jacket's tag how they did it. Critically taped seams are the best. A jacket with Gore-Tex has the best waterproof tape seams. But that's where water comes in your jacket as well. And you should ask your shop employee about your seams because that's important.